Victoria Pender, USA Today best-selling author with her bad walls behind her, but whatever, I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, I was, today I'm going to answer the question of how do you write so many words like in a day? I don't understand how you do that. And I always answer this question in kind of the same way because writing is a muscle. Like writing is what you do every day, right? Like if you go to work, when you first start to go to work, you're kind of slow at what you need to do, but by the end of what you do, but you know, after a couple years on the job, you get better and better and better, especially if it's the same thing. Same thing goes with running, running a marathon, right? If someone told me I have to run 26 miles today, let me tell you, it's not going to happen. I can't do it. And if you're going to force me to do it, I'm going to pass out somewhere on the road because I am not running a marathon. Like I'm not ready to run a marathon. Now, how, if I wanted to run a marathon, which I don't, but if I wanted to run a marathon, you'd tell me, okay, you have to train for a marathon. You have to get your body in shape and then you have to make sure that you do it every single day. So how do you do that? Every day you run a little bit longer, you run a little bit further, you, you speed up, you do the same thing in a certain amount of time, you slow it down, you speed it up and you train. So you train to go faster, you train to go longer. So these are, these are training exercises that you do in order to run a marathon. The same is true with writing. If you want to write 500 words a day and that's all you're good at, but you want to write 10,000 words a day, right? Like a book I read. It's not rocket scientist. You don't need to read the book. There's no magic trick to it. What do you do? And don't start to try to say I'm going to write 10,000 words in a day and then fail because then you're going to fail. Because again, I can't run a marathon and you can't write 10,000 words in every single day and then not collapse and never want to write for weeks and weeks and weeks or even years because you just overkilled yourself. Because maybe I can run a marathon today. But let me tell you, what happened to the original guy who ran 26 miles in ancient Greece when he got there to warn them that the war was coming or people were coming to attack them he died so that because he wasn't trained to be running 26 miles but he ran 26 miles to warn everybody and that's kind of where we get the 26 miles from marathon random history fact in case you didn't know um so anyway if i want to write more and i kind of do i want to get back to i used to be able to write 5,000 in a day and i kind of fallen back to 3,000 in a day um and 3,000 always kind of been my minimum anyway because i knew i could do it easy but moving and craziness kind of got to me so i'm kind of slower right now but writing is a muscle and i understand that so how do i get back to where i was and i can't do it in a day because i have to you know watch my kids and do other things in the day so what do i have to do and i've done it before so i know I have to train. So 3,000 today, 3,100 next week, 3,200 the week after that, 3,300, because again, I already know I can do it. So I just kind of need to work my way back up to it. Um, and once I have worked my way back up to it successfully, my brain knows and my muscles know that I need to start writing. So then I become six more successful because I do it. But say you're 500 and you want to get to 10,000. Don't try to go a thousand in a day that's a double you're gonna wipe out if you especially if you're only writing 500 in a day so when i first started getting to 5000 right i did it slowly and i'm that's why i'm doing it slowly again i would incrementally move up to where it wasn't a big deal and my brain could do it so if i'm writing 500 a day which is kind of slow but like say i was writing 500 a day i wouldn't go past 520 why? Because that 20 words took you a long time. If 500 is all you do in a day. So incrementally work your way up in a logical system and then go from there. Don't expect to, to take a sprint and make that an everyday occurrence unless you can really focus on that muscle memory to actually do it at a certain amount of time. And how many words can you get on the page is also kind of the same thing. It's a muscle. I'm using my fingers typing on thing and seeing how fast these words come out um it's not difficult once you have the muscle just like running a marathon isn't difficult for those millions of people who run marathons all the time because they have trained for it they understand that you need to muscle and you have to have the memory your body has to be geared for it and your brain is a muscle your your fingers are a muscle so you are using this and this in order to get the words on the page your brain has to be connected here and they are coming through and i know some people use their words through dictation that would be a different beast for me but anyway 
that's really what I recommend on how to write. It's not, I wouldn't pay thousands of dollars for a course. Nobody can teach you how to run faster unless it's like a computer program to see how fast you type. And then you have to write the same thing every day. That's really kind of not something I would pay for because you can just do it on your own. So anyway, that's my wor my thing on writing. If you have any questions for me, I'd love to answer um, why muscle writing is a muscle and your brain is a muscle. Um, and then I would love to talk to you. So please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel, and I will see you again tomorrow.